Hey everyone, thanks again for stopping by. In this video, we're going to talk about property selectors. Um, I want to give a quick call out to another YouTuber who has helped me tremendously over the years, whether he knows it or not. Um, and there's several of them, but uh, a special call out to, to Shane Young at Power Apps 911. Um, I love his description of property selectors and he uses it all the time. Um, I like his style of teaching because he's uh, a little goofy like myself and we just like to have fun and that's really all about the you know the community by and large is we just all have a passion for power apps and so we like to have fun and teach others on how to use it so I'm going to steal your expression Shane because I absolutely love it and it's an absolute brilliant way of describing something so the concept of here is I'm going to take this uh, this text input box pro and I'm going to go to a property called fill and I'm going to show you the property selector in action. So here we got an RGBA, but you can also use color. Now IntelliSense is already showing us an enumeration, which is a programmatic fancy word for a list. And it's showing us for color these are all of the different sub items that we can choose and so do you notice the difference between the keyword color and all of the different colors that's available they're separated by a period well that period is the property selector now to use and steal and borrow I guess <laughs> Shane Young's reference he calls it a shovel think of the property selector as a shovel and what do you do with a shovel you dig and it's important too because there are some properties like app well this is uh, the wrong context here but let's do uh, I don't know uh, da, 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 da. yeah let's go to width here for a minute um, width so here if I go to app break out your 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 shovel here um, I'm doing app dot and then I can do active screen dot. And so it's digging, it's digging, it's digging deeper and deeper and deeper into a hole, which is why I love it because some of these properties can get pretty significantly um, deep. Um, there's sometimes six layers, maybe even more in some cases. But the point is, don't forget when you get errors to use this dot or this property selector to dig deeper because chances are it may be something as simple as you know you're not getting what you need it's dot value or dot something and the other thing to to help um, you figure out when you get these errors you see how it's got a squiggly line but down here on the bottom look at it's always important understand what the data type is because you want data type of number or you want data type of text because that typically is gonna bring you back a value. If you're getting anything other than that, like control, this means it's a control. There's too much, there's something dig There's something deeper and you should go digging deeper. If it says record, then you have a bunch of fields, a bunch of columns in this record. And in order to get the value you're looking for, you've got to dig deeper and so, Always watch your data control. This will be your flag, your, um, you know, kind of the holy grail to let you know whether or not you should break out, as Shane would say, that shovel, or in this case, the technical name, property selector as an operator, to go digging deeper to get the value that you're looking for. In this case, I'm just looking for the width. And so see now data type says number, and this width expects a number, okay? so. That is it for this video. All you need to know is property selectors are dots, and if you like Shane Young's reference of a shovel, then just remember to dig deeper. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for this video. We'll see you in the next one.